For over 40 years, Sonoma Land Trust and our partners have been working to protect large blocks of high-quality connected habitat. This work, along with restoration efforts aimed at promoting biodiversity, has sought to make Sonoma County a place where wildlife can thrive. No animal exemplifies wild lands more than the bear. Many residents of Sonoma County would be surprised to learn that they share a habitat with bears. But the increase in sightings and images captured on remote cameras prove that bears do indeed live here and their numbers are likely on the rise. These are black bears, the only bear species currently in California. Grizzly bears were extirpated from the state in 1908 and can now only be found on our state flag. From protecting a critical wildlife corridor across Sonoma Valley to protecting and expanding key large-scale habitats like Bear Canyon Wildlands Preserve, the once rarely seen black bear is finding quality habitat here in Sonoma County. These images were captured on Sonoma Land Trust's aptly named Bear Canyon Wildlands Preserve. Adjacent to Bear Canyon Wildlands is Autobahn Canyon Ranch's Modini Preserve, where these images were captured. The restoration efforts of our friends at Pepperwood Preserve are also bearing fruit. Bears are an important part of our ecosystem. They distribute seeds. They help the soil with their digging. They contribute marine nutrients to the uplands from eating salmon. Bears also eat a great deal of vegetation, reducing wildfire danger. Bears commonly consume ants, grubs, and other insects in summer but prefer nut crops, especially acorns and manzanita berries in the fall. As omnivores, bears will eat whatever seems edible. Mostly they're plant eaters, but they have been reported catching and consuming young deer fawns. The cubs follow their mother, learning from everything she does, including how and where to find food, and what is dangerous and to be avoided. Some cubs remain with the sow for up to two years before they become independent and drift away. When these young bears set off on their own to seek out new territory is when they are more likely to run into people. The increasing numbers of black bears could create conflict with humans, but it needn't be that way. People and bears have lived together on this land for millennia and there is much that we can learn about how to revive a local bear culture. Some things people can do now to promote healthy bear behavior is to keep garbage and potential food sources where bears can't get them. Keep pet food inside. Protect beehives, goats, and chickens with electric fence. As interesting as it is to see a bear by your house, scare them away. If you are interested in learning more about local bears, check out the North Bay Bear Collaborative website. And special thanks to our friends at Pepperwood Preserve and Autobahn Canyon Ranch for protecting habitat and providing their bear footage.